I'm the director of long-term forecasting and, and market analysis globally. Uh, I refer to GM as kind of a three-headed monster if you look at our sales footprint. Uh, huge presence in the United States, China, and Brazil. That's kind of where our, our employment follows as well. Uh, different products there. And I'm going to uh, walk you through what I call the seat at the leadership table, uh, selling forecast and management with visualization tools at General Motors. Uh, I think this is a topic that's, that's near and dear to a lot of you in the audience today. Uh, so <laughs> let me start out with baseline. So really, General Motors, as you know, went into bankruptcy in 2009. And at that point in time, we really removed a lot of our market analysis capabilities. And, and we reduced the team to really a core group of administrators. And, and what do we have from that? We had a perpetual hockey stick business plan that was often the, the butt of many jokes. But the reality was that, that it was affecting our, our investments, our spending, our, our, our resources. True lack of engagement among the forecasters. And, and items would happen. And a lot of times you'd, you would, you'd maybe talk to an analyst and, and they would pull some old forecasts out of the drawer and they say, I told you, I told you three years ago this wasn't going to work. But it's just sitting in a drawer. And, and, and so they felt like they were not, their voice was never being heard really. 